flights to Mexico got cancelled, man. Hey, Chiquita, let's go to Chinita. Welcome to yet another episode on Project V, our passion project. Today we're in Indranagar, one of my most favorite places, which is. Chinita. <laughs> Not Chinta, but Chinita. something about Mexico and that is only because of narcos and how much are you addicted to this place <laughs> I've seen I've seen the number of orders you've done I am super 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 addicted to this place because I've lived in Indranaga all my life and I don't know how many years this restaurant has been here it's been like probably two decades or more than a decade for sure I don't know about that but uh, the bill whatever comes to my house is very huge <laughs> see in my it might feel like a little overpriced for some people, but I, I'm telling you, this is Mexican food as authentic as it can get in Bangalore. Okay. There might be other popular ones, but I feel this one is as close as it can. Yeah, okay, the Mexico. Okay. We will decide that later. <laughs> Let's go check out the food. So I've seen you order so order this nachos, loaded nachos, so many times home, and. Uh, Honestly, yeah, what so what it is, so it has sour cream even here, oh nice and so first of all these are nachos, uh, these nachos are made from corn is it? Yeah, the everything here in Chinita is made from corn, be it their tacos, oh. be it their tortillas, be it their chips, these are tortilla yeah, chips. These are tortilla chips are there. No maida, this is all made the way it's made in Mexico. Okay. So, what is this? Guacamole. My most favorite. I can eat this every day of my life. Okay, then take. So, this. Why don't you make it for me at home then? Very easy to make. Then I can make. definitely make it. I don't know if it will be as good as the one in Chinita. But okay. this one is basically butterfruit, onions, tomatoes, chili, lime. Namkade and avocado. That is well mashed and made into. Oh, nice okay, so there are a lot of beans and all. So, so yeah. typically this is ordered with just tortilla chips. Correct, yeah, of course. Uh, it doesn't come with the loaded nachos, mm -hmm. but I always want extra. Of course, we've seen the extra. I know the what is this extra. Sure. Okay. So I'll I'll go local normal. What do you mean local? I'll want I want to just taste it normally. Oh, without. like without the. So is this uh, cousin, uh, some cousin of my Kerala cousin who went to Mexico and guacamole became guacamole? I have no comments. Okay, okay, mole, fine. <laughs> so yeah, I've had this. Uh, A zillion times now. Eat now. <laughs> <laughs> Except you ate it with the beans. Okay, how is it? Mm. Must have become a little soggy because of all the shoot, but... Even after, even if it is soggy, Yeah. it is good. There is, it has retained its um, crispiness. Mm. There's a bit of cheese, you know. The they cheese runs over, yeah. then that sour cream acts in. Then comes in your tomatoes and all flavor. And the baked beans. No, I did not have a baked bean or anything. Oh, yeah. So there was very little of the salsa which I took, but I love the guacamole as always. Yeah. It it's has a good. right amount of uh, spice and tang, whatever I need. So I usually, you know, when I order at home, mm -hmm. I add some more lemon to the guacamole. Yeah, I know, I know, I've seen it. Make it more tangy. What do you order, Joda? <laughs> so do you know corn curbs are like very popular street food in Mexico? Do you know that it's popular even in India? Yeah, but these are slightly different. Mm -hmm. These are slathered and smeared with butter. Mm, I can see that. But here in Chinita, they also add cheese. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like paprika or chili powder. But yeah, I think 
Again, this one needs a good squeeze of lemon. I feel like Mexican flavors are mm-hmm. all about the chili and the lemon. Correct. Which is my two favorite things. I don't know anything about Mexican cuisine, only a bit. Learn from me. Yeah, of course I've learned. Let's have. Why don't you try this one? Yeah. You no, try. Hmm. Spending so much for joda is not my cup of tea. No, but <laughs> there's so much in but so much in butter and cheese. Okay. I want somehow these don't get stuck in between my teeth. Good. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. I feel like a lot of people miss ordering this because they're so intrigued by burritos and tacos and, and enchiladas, but. Yeah. This is so simple and it's a very popular street food in Mexico. It's something that you um, have to go, just like in India. Okay, exactly. So we have tacos. I have grilled pork tacos. What do you have? I have grilled mushroom tacos. Okay. Apparently, one of the most popular dishes is the burrito bowl. Okay, that's... For uh, me, I feel the USP of Chinita is actually these grilled tacos because no one makes it like them. Okay. Okay. Chapati Chapati is not made with corn flour. No, this is not corn flour. I'm so sorry. Chapati is not made with corn, so please. Kati Rola. Not favorite. This is like the best. What I love about these tacos is first of all the grill. Grill pork. So do you know you get these in Chinita without grill as well? Okay. And I've tried them. I swear the grilling of these tacos adds so much of flavor. Makes a lot of difference. When you are there, why should I even worry about what to order? But you ordered pork tacos for me. Right? Yeah. Because I thought you liked it. Yeah. How does it taste? I, I really liked it. See, the first thing what I observed after taking a bite is it has a lot of uh, spice. Mm-hmm. The pork is cooked so well. It's grilled. It's, uh, it's marinated pork. so well. And it's pulled pork, right? How do you know about pulled pork? I saw it when you were shooting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pulled pork. And it is very well done. So every inch of the spice is taken inside. And you have a bit of this. Uh, Cheese inside. There is a bit of cheese. They yeah. actually use it to. Cheese and there's tomatoes. It yeah. all adds up to your flavor. Yeah. Hey, why don't we exchange our tacos? The second taco. You can take mine. I'm not taking yours. I it's don't okay. Eat. Hey, I'll shut the camera. Eat, dude. One minute, 37 seconds later. Also, the sauce. This one. Mm. So it's a roasted tomato sauce. Roasted tomato sauce. Just wearing the word tomato, you know how I feel about it. Yeah. You're I'm not like, a fan of tomato. You're not a fan of tomato, but tomato is widely used in Mexico, so you yeah. can't run away from tomatoes. Welcome kidney stones. Uh, but again, I think mm. every dish I love to squeeze a bit of lemon. It just elevates the whole dish. But uh, this is also called a pica de gallo. Yeah, so I'm no, not I'm, saying I tried, but yeah. that that means salsa, except this is fermented. Okay, Which so I thought it's a roasted tomato. And have they fermented it before roasting it? May uh, I don't know. At least the menu says fermented. So as far as I know, this is fermented. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's roasted and then fermented. No, no, no. And then sort of mixed together. We are it's not that expert, fine. that kind of experts too. No, You're not. not. Uh, so it's a fine theory. about this burrito bones and uh, first of all this is loaded there's a grilled chicken burrito bowl if I'm not wrong yeah okay okay as usual there is grilled chicken and on the bay in the base there is a lot of cheese and there is rice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
There's sour cream I can see in the center. The sour cream on the top. Again, loads of jalapenos. I'm not a fan of jalapenos. I like my Indian chilies better. I, I, I like jalapenos. I, lo- I love uh, Indian chilies or Asian chilies basically. But yeah, these, are, these have a lot of tang again, which I'm not able to take it. Yeah. But I, I kind of like it without it, but it will go. I love tangy and chili, so I like yeah. it. Try it. So there is this rice, salsa, tomatoes again, grilled uh, chicken, the bit of sour cream. <laughs> oh, the onions are caramelized in this. Nice. If someone orders a burrito bowl here, it's a whole meal for them all together. Oh, yeah. And uh, with this chicken, the rice, the salsa, there's a balance of flavor is what I can say. And you can also get the cheese sometimes. Along with it, there is sour cream. Uh, enticing you to go for another bite. Nice. Okay, there is hot chocolate here. Mm. I need to have this. In don't care about it. Do you know this is... Like an absolute mandate when I come to Chinita. I don't know. You didn't give me hot chocolate. <laughs> because it's not available on Swiggy. You have to come here okay. to have the hot chocolate. What's different about this hot chocolate? You know, you know how they say Tu or me ek taraf or Zara Sara Zamana ek taraf, like the whole world on yeah, one I side. Don't know. What language is that? <laughs> That's Hindi. So I feel like this hot chocolate is on one side, you know, all the hot chocolates in the rest of the world are on one side. Okay. The reason being... Okay, that is Telugu. Nindu chandurudu akavaiku, chukkalu akavaiku. Okay, haa, tell. Okay. This one is actually not thick. Okay. The way it's thin. It's thin. Mexican hot chocolate is supposed to be thin. Like me. But You think like me. But what is the standout is the use of a spice okay. in the hot chocolate, which I, is... I don't know. You Give me that. We'll talk. Which is cinnamon. Okay, give. You know, I have to experience give to mm. Snatching it away from me. It is so good. Mm. You know, typically when there's like spice in my desserts or spice in anything sweet I have, I just mm. hate it. Like I don't like cinnamon rolls. I don't like cinnamon or sardines or anything of that sort in my sweets and my dessert. But this is the only dish I think ever I've liked the combination of cinnamon, like a spice and sweet. Because it is so subtle. Mm. It is so subtle. Absolutely. Even if there's cold chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's become cold now but then yeah. please don't forget to order the hot chocolate when you come here. Try in Chivita. How did you like the food? Yeah, wife told it was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> He's just full from all the <laughs> eating. Do try our recommendations. It's one of my most favorite See, she tells restaurants. My nice. It's been in Indranagar for a decade. So do try it out. This is the original outlet. Kunal has no lines. So stay tuned for the next episode to hear from Kunal. Until then, bye. <laughs>